In this video, I want to talk about yield aggregators, what they are and how do they work. Well, what they do is they take your yield in DeFi protocols and it tries to maximize it through different strategies. Now let's back off a little bit. Where does yield come from in DeFi? Well, there are two main categories. The first one is the easier one and it is called staking. You can stake different tokens on Terra Luna ecosystem. You can have Anchor, Mir protocol tokens that you can stake and earn governance rewards, basically an inflation reward. Uh, you can also stake Ethereum, Luna, uh, PancakeSwap tokens and Cardano. There's plenty of tokens that you can stake. Now, some tokens uh, don't have an optimized staking mechanism meaning that the rewards that you get from staking are added to your wallet and they are not automatically staked again. So a yield aggregator would take these rewards and stake them for you. So basically increasing the yield that you get. So with staking it's pretty easy as how it works. Now the other part where uh, yield in DeFi protocols comes from is uh, liquidity providing. In decentralized exchanges, uh, for a token to be able to trade, uh, you need a liquidity pool for at least a single pair. Uh, usually this pair is combined with a stable coin and people put up liquidity um, in this pool so you could trade that token. So how it works is there is a pool where half of it is, let's say, a stable coin and half of it is token X. And when people come and they want to sell their token X, they put their token X in the pool and they get their stable coin out. And the same goes for buying the token X, uh, etc. Now this pool uh, of tokens, uh, when people trade into it, uh, they are paying a fee and this fee is paid to the people that are providing this liquidity. Providing liquidity just means that you're adding your tokens, half of uh, the stable coin and half of the token X into the pool and for providing the service you are making uh, the fees. Now some protocols they also have incentives on top of that because the fees when the token is new uh, usually aren't uh, much and people are not providing liquidity if there is no yield to be made. Uh, so protocols uh, like the mirror protocol, they add uh, mirror tokens on top uh, to incentivize uh, people to provide liquidity. So yeah, that means that you have uh, these incentives and the fees that you're getting and usually when you're providing liquidity, uh, you get these into your wallets. And a yield aggregator, what it does in this case, it takes uh, the token rewards and the fees and it sells them in the market and buys more of what you are staking, more of these liquidity pool tokens. And this grows your stack even more, making you even more money. Now, yield aggregators makes the most sense on blockchains that have high uh, transaction fees, especially Ethereum. Uh, but on uh, Terra Luna, a yield aggregator uh, does not make a lot of sense. Now, let's take uh, a quick example. Let's say a liquidity pool is paying 30% per year with uh, if you combine your rewards, meaning that you, uh, what you get, you sell it in the market and buy more liquidity pool, it's just basically combining your rewards. If you do it once a month, your 30% is increased to 34.5%. So almost a 5% increase just from combining the rewards monthly. Now you're getting rewards every single time, uh, basically every single block on the blockchain. So you can do it daily. But if you do it daily, the same 
turns into 35 so only half a percentage more if you do it daily instead of monthly so there isn't that much um, incentive to do it uh, with the yield aggregator as on a blockchain like Terra Luna where the fees are very low you can be your own yield aggregator and just do it monthly or weekly or bi-weekly and um, combine your uh, yields that you get and now yield aggregators sometimes they also put up their incentives of their own so for you to get incentivized to use their pool and to use their service they give out tokens on top of the yield aggregation so for example the spectrum protocol on the Terra Luna ecosystem when you uh, provide liquidity for any array of the mirror assets you can put them through the yield aggregator and then they also pay uh, a percentage in spectrum tokens that's usually around five to seven percent uh, depending on the pool that you make on top per year so this is a great incentive and you could pretty much program another yield aggregator on top that would uh, sell those spectrum tokens on the market and buy you even more of that liquidity pool token so that would be a yield aggregation on top of yield aggregation uh, so yeah that's pretty funny what you can do uh, with yield farming so if you're currently farming on a protocol you might do you should do some research and look for opportunities where you could use a yield aggregator if you're using the mirror protocol then you should definitely look at Apollo DAO and spectrum protocol uh, for different yield aggregation opportunities as they increase your yields quite a bit as they are providing you with a token also I want to talk about the risks of yield aggregators it is a third party on top of your yield farming and as every single layer that you stack uh, it brings uh, different risks and basically it is another smart contract risk that if it has a bug or something like that you can lose all your money so you should look at these yield aggregators and make sure that they are uh, audited and that they are safe and you're not jumping into something brand new that's probably is not yet filled with testing so lastly i want to give you a few examples of yield aggregator websites uh, the most popular one i guess on the ethereum network is the year in finance it has different strategies for different assets that it uses and it provides some great yield aggregation services then there is beefy finance which is a multi-blockchain uh, yield aggregator there's also auto farm network uh, that is also a multi-blockchain yield aggregator and it also pays out a small percentage in its own token then there's also spectrum uh, protocol and apollo dao on the terra luna ecosystem that i already mentioned and there's many more of these websites out there you just need to do your own research and look for them on your uh, blockchain that you are using for DeFi. So this is it for this video. I think uh, yield aggregators can be a little bit uh, hard to understand at first but once you use them for at least a couple of times you will get the hang of it and it will become much much simpler. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.